just a cat. <laughs> better safe than sorry. Yeah. <laughs> now the Faber have got into the little collection mm. box, so you didn't worry about that. So John learned how to fusion spice about lunchtime and now he's doing his own customer connection. So this is the new demo kit that we only got today from Sumitomo. This is a nice little cleaver. And this is the portable uh, fusion splicer. So unlike the, the big one that we also got on loan from, from them, uh, unlike that one, this one doesn't do the core alignment. So either your fuse works or it doesn't with this one. So you've got to keep everything spotless and clean and cleave it well. And there it's fusing. And if it's not happy with the fuse, it will throw it out. Point not one. Excellent. So point not one dB loss, which is virtually nothing. So we're happy with that. So John's going to slide the uh, spice protector up now. Remove the fibre from the holders and pop it in the heater to heat shrink. Okay. It's my least favourite bit because I broke one earlier. Everybody breaks one. So at this point the fibre is joined and fused and pulling it won't do any harm at all. It's just if it if it bends before we get this on, the chances are it could break. So John's just sliding it over so that you want a little I'll bit. I'll nudge more. it. There we are. Ooh. Thank you. I'll nudge it up there then. There we are. So it's in the middle and then it slides it into the middle of the heater. It holds it taut. So that the actual fibre pulls the lid down. It's already on its way. A little heater comes on, which is that yellow one. And when that's all yellow, it'll then go to black to say it's done. And the little blue fan will come on to cool it because it'll be very hot. It looks like that's more or less cooked now. It doesn't take very long at all, unlike some of the older models. There, so there's the little blue light saying the fan's coming on, and it's done. So we can turn it off to save the battery, and remove the joint fibre, and then start to wrap it up in the box on the wall. And this spare fibre is quite a long length in this house, so he's sitting down comfortably fusing it. <laughs> Um, we'll just be wrapped up in the box as spare, just in case anything's broken outside. So there's the finished splice. He's got to keep that nice and straight till it's perfectly cool and then he doesn't get a bend on the corners. So off he goes to wrap. <laughs> 